Here is my question. Why is it that given a chance Africans excel extraordinarily at sports? Why is it that we are also great artisans as Africans given a chance? There they are, tradesmen. At the bottom there, they are skilled, high skilled uh, uh, metal workers. And you can see there is an African Erasta man in ancient Africa in the Earth, place called Egypt today. Ahmed is using an ad shaping some stuff. But that's not all. Do you know sports, gymnastics? Do you know who discovered that? Do you know we did that? You see that? What do you call that? You call that Muchairo, right? It was discovered by ancient Egyptians. See that? Imasa, discovered by ancient Egyptians, by our ancestors. So, in every sphere of life, construction, everything that you can name today, it was discovered as a religion. See that? That's religious activities. So, it was discovered by our ancestors. So, sports, hockey, gymnastics, footwork, everything. Who discovered that? Welcome to today, where we want to show you the origins of gymnastics and sports and the proof of the people that discovered that. Welcome to Committee Hebrew Ethics. We're going to use one of uh, the books that we picked from the library. Hockey and all that you can think of was started and begun by black people. But all the evidence is that is coming today from science, public media, broadcast, from documentaries, anything that you hear, anything that you hear that says Egypt was found by Europe or Europeans or by white Arabs or by Asians, it's fake. The evidence is right in our faces. The evidence is right in there. Our ancestors didn't leave us in doubt didn't leave us in doubt. Music, beer manufacturing, see that's an African carrying a pot. All oh, that, the images our ancestors left speak volumes, tell us the truth. So if they bring DNA of those people, and the DNA is of our Eskimos. They say, oh, Egyptians were Eskimos. Would you believe the DNA or you would believe the images? Take your pick. Let us go into this journey some more. Yes, the complete cities of ancient Egypt. This is one area where we need to consider and to look at. So today we want to look at the evidence, proof that our ancient ancestors were civilized. Civilized the whole earth. So that when we come face to face, with uh, conflicting information coming from others, we know that we are the people. There's our status of our cities today, lying in Rabu. The ravages of weather has taken its toll. I shudder to think what would have happened if we were the ones living during that this time. Whether we would have left art, images, statues of our own, or our death would have been the end of it all. These are images of Africans. That's the, one of the early examples of royal sponsorship in agriculture. A project, this is King Scorpion. Uh, he's holding a hole there and the queen on the side, on his side. So this is our ancestors that people are coming from Europe and Asia and trying to claim that they are the ones that are in these artifacts. But our ancestors left enough evidence, enough proof there you can see again black people, African people fishing in, along the river Nile. Food was there, millet was there, everything was there, but they fished in Lake uh, Manzala, which had enough assault. And they also had enough uh, food to feed not only themselves, but the whole earth. And therefore, when we see these artifacts, when we see these images, let us soak our minds and they realize that we are looking at the uh, product of our African ancestors. That is the great entry, amygdal gate, of the mortuary temple complex of Ramasese the third. It is quite intimidating. It gives a sense of greatness, which is real. It's found in the new uh, kingdom. Again, we can see clearly a triad statue depicting King Amanikaura. There at the center there, with the goddess Hathore and also uh, a, a, a god of the norm of the kingdom that he ruled. And there, 
are the bas uh, relief uh, series of regional deities drawn during the time of Ramesses II and the Abydos. That's our kings. And those are the deities and the kings in their different shades with spiritual and uh, uh, significant uh, meaning of the colors. They are again the cities and the peoples, uh, the cows, the cattle, Africans, straightforward. You can see the Afro, you can see the Dolly Sephardic uh, faces. Again, we show there are uh, harvest times, uh, exactly what was happening during that time was accounting for tax purposes by government officials. Black people invented accounting and budget, national budgets. There is again cattle counting, stock exchange. I do that. When I go to uh, my village or home, I count my cows, I count my cattle, my sheep, my goats. It's traditional, it's in my blood. There again is technology, basket weaving. The survival of many objects from ancient Egypt sites, especially desert cemetery, has preserved a substantial number of items of everyday life, even organic materials like this basket. This happened thousands of years ago. It is still there. It's not plastic, it's environmental friendly. Again, we show the Africans, not Asians, not Europeans. These were ancient Africans in Egypt. Even here at the top there, there is Africans. They are killing and butchering and ox. This is indicative of privilege of food, of understanding food. I, I, I don't even know what he's doing there, but I know it's high technology very intelligent very smart very spiritual our ancestors so we continue so there were africans now scattered all over the earth now again you can see there i'm zooming close to them he is doing what i have been doing what i do what we do as africans in the village preparing sadza preparing pap preparing food on the fire that's a steering stick he's steering there is a millet there and he's staring that thick porridge he is a balding, and someone is, is an old man preparing his own sides are there. Again, this is uh, the movement of grain uh, from various places and is being carried into the ship uh, uh, along the Nile, taken across. These are our ancestors. You look at the hair, you look at the nose and the face. It's exactly as what you are seeing in African. If you want to know an ancient Egyptian, you want to look at me and you want to see my face. Again, these are our cities, our technology there. We have no doubt we were excellent in technology, in building, in construction, in geometry, and mathematics and all the sciences you can imagine. This is a great official. You look, they have damaged the nose, chopped it off, fought it, removed a lot of stuff here. This is uh, Pasera, who was a high civil servant, who collected taxes, who also uh, doubled as a southern vizier. He was there during the time of Seti One, and uh, also Ramesses II, the greatest pharaoh. He was a high priest of Amman at Kanak, and his statue stands as proof of Africanness. He was an African, he was not an Arabian, he was not a European, he was not an Asian. There is a scantily dressed uh, ancient Egyptians, dancers, musicians, entertaining people see they are females playing look at them look at the hairstyle the dreads dreadlocks and they are preparing a beer for rituals they are africans this is the way we prepare our beer this is how africans carry their uh we used to carry water with the, uh, on our heads and they are then on the left there the great pyramid at the background the stepped pyramid on the uh, right which was founded and built by a uh, king uh, Joseph, but planned by Imute Po. So we continue to show fantastic artifacts. The columned holes uh, of elite provincial tombs of the Middle Kingdom, like this at Ben Hassan today, seem to be based on the architecture of contemporary elite residents of the living uh, kings. And again, at the bottom there, you can see that this is uh, uh, the connection between the living and the dead. This is an offering of the disease, especially beer and sadza. 
You can see that's that ancient was 1,200 years ago. That's exactly what they were eating. As we continue to uh, round out now, we can see here again, this is a miniature appearance of the statue of Jedoro found at Artbridge. Uh, he was a healer. He was a healer, this man. Now, so we continue to defy all the DNA that they have shown. Everything that they have tried to show as proof that we were not there in ancient Egypt has fallen. Has fallen into bits and pieces. It's no longer valid. Let us believe our eyes. Let us believe what our ancestors left. As I said, I shudder to think if I was living, would I have left this evidence? Yes. Whether it was by coincidence or well planned, but it's clear that it is assisting us. It is giving us a memory. Now, we are showing here uh, an unusual wide range of leisure activities, gymnastics, various uh, positions. You know hockey? Can you see that? They are playing hockey. It was discovered by our ancestors. You see that? You see Nodo? You know Nodo? You know choreograph that Africans specialize in? That's exactly what these are sports. Straightforward what we did. And lastly, we show this one. And he's wearing Shishakati, he is Afro there. He's an African. So this priest rabbi Elam Tumizulu of Hamiti Hebrew Ethics. Let us share this information, subscribe to this channel, share with as many people as possible, put your comments, let us continue to economically, educationally, spiritually fire up ourselves and achieve the attainment that our ancestors left for us. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Goodbye.